Everyone out there, Bernie Tully. Uh, Michael Tully. We're personal injury lawyers uh, from the law firm of Tully and & Tully. Uh, and today we uh, wanted to discuss again about wrongful death cases and how they can occur at any time under any circumstances. It's not just confined to uh, a medical malpractice where the person dies. It can happen somewhere as basic as uh, an electrician being shocked and killed while in the course of, of their work a, at a building. And that's exactly what happened on a, a case recently where there was a verdict of almost $2 million for the wrongful death claim based upon uh, a person being basically electrocuted because of the negligence of um, the company uh, which did not turn off the energy and it was energized uh, the power line and caused the, unfortunately, caused the, the, the person to die. So in that particular case, the opportunities are there if you can show that the, what they call the wrongdoer or the defendant uh, was careless under the law. And that's the basis for these wrongful death cases, which we do on a regular basis. Give us a call at 412-281-8700 Michael wanted to add something to that, uh, to that illustration of the electrocution case. <clears throat> um, yes, that's correct. Uh, there's, um, there's a variety of uh, different ways we can go about uh, the more unique cases, just like this electrocution case that Bernie uh, is just talking about. Uh, one case we had, uh, we had a tree cutter uh, who was electrocuted um, as he was trimming, uh, trimming branches over an electrical wire, and uh, unfortunately, he, in the process of cutting down the limbs, the uh, metal uh, uh, cutter made contact with an electrical wire, and uh, unfortunately, he electrocuted himself. And normally, uh, maybe some people would think that, oh, well, he just he was being careless, he must be at fault, but uh, when you dig into things a little bit more, uh, what we learned is that essentially the employer didn't really care about the safety of his, uh, of his employees and basically just wanted to get as many jobs done as quickly as possible. Yep. So completely yep. uh, ignored the responsibilities he had to train our client who electrocuted himself uh, Due to it, just lack of uh, preparation and training on the employer's fault. So yep. there's a uh, once you start digging into a case, especially one uh, with severe injuries like an electrocution uh, case, you can really start finding uh, ways that the unfortunate incident occurred. can occur. Yes, and just just to, to finish it up on that is that <clears throat> that's what we do. That particular case that did not result in, in the person's death, although it's severe injuries, but wrongful death cases can, can happen at work as a result of electrocution. And uh, that's one of the things we do. We've been doing it for over 45 years, the law firm of Tully & Tully. We're based in Pittsburgh, PA. However, we'll travel anywhere throughout the state if we think that the case has merit to it, a fatality, a wrongful death case. That's what we do. Bernie Tully at 281-8700. And uh, this is Michael. Thanks for listening. Thank you much, everyone.